Danny is an intriguing patient. It seems there were no traumas in the past which would trigger his condition. At least from the information I managed to get from him, for now. Most of the time he is quiet, accompanied with restrained behavior. Although sometimes he opens up with very direct answers. Especially in our last session. We had a breakthrough and I had the opportunity to see his other sides. Hello, Danny. Please sit down. How are you today, Danny? Have you found time to listen to that album which you were very excited about last time? Hell yeah, we did. Greatest guitar riffs of all time. Freaking shame most of them died in that shitty airplane crash. And how about your visit to the zoo? How was that? Was it fun? Or, um... Relaxing, as you thought it would be? Yes, it was nice. Good. I would like to hear more about it, if you're willing to tell me. I like animals. They're honest. They do not speak words at all. They only make sounds that humans can't understand. Very relaxing and... Oh, hell, Danny boy, now that makes about as much sense as a tit on a bull. Danny? Danny boy, oh, Danny boy. Now, who in their right mind would think all them animals screaming in the zoo's relaxing? But then again, you wouldn't happen to be in your right mind now, would you, Danny boy? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Looks like I got to do all the talking here. You know, Doc, animals are better than people if you think about it. Just because we don't understand them don't mean they got nothing to say. Take them birds, for example. They seem to be flying around free for no particular reason. But trust me, doctor, they sure as hell know where they're going. Billy, is that you who I'm talking to now? Sure is, doc. You got pets, doctor? I think you might have a pig. Why would you like to know that, Billy? You like dogs, doctor? Nah, you're a cat person. Billy, we agree that you will behave. We only talking here, doc, ain't we? Oh, dog, don't be like that. I only asked you a question. Isn't that the way the conversation goes? 
both ways. You wouldn't want for it to be like it happened last time in this situation. Now would you, Billy? There now. Sit down and let me talk to Danny. Come on, Doc. You know this bird ain't gonna change. Now you didn't answer my question. You got a pussy, cat, or a pig? That's none of your business, Billy. Hey, Doc. How's your pussy? You're such a jerk, Billy. I'm sorry, doctor. Billy's like that sometimes. It's okay. It's not yours to apologize for him, Jenny. I understand. I'm sorry, doctor, but do you really understand? He acts like that and... Jenny? We all suffer. Danny, mostly. Jenny? Are you okay? Would you like some water? Oh, no, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Doctor. Yes, Jenny. I always wanted to have a cat, but something always got in the way. Mm. Do you think that maybe now could be the right moment to have one? <laughs> oh, no, no, no way. I think that Billy would probably hurt her. Jenny, you know about Billy and Danny, and Billy knows about you and Danny. Uh huh. But does Danny know that you and Billy exist? I'm not sure. I, I think that Billy doesn't let him. But you can stop Billy, can't you? At least when he gets a little out of control. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Uh, but not always. Uh, probably. Uh, <sighs> Only when I let her dog. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jenny, please come back. Jenny, oh. you are in control. Oh. You ain't gonna do this to me, goddamn commie! I know about them. But it's so hard, Doctor. Danny. Yes, Doctor. It's me. They're always with me. Talking. Wanting something. I try to keep them out. 
but it's so hard. Sometimes I get so tired. Just let them do what they want. But it's the strongest. He's always trying to get his way. I don't know how long I can keep going like this. Daddy. Can you help, Doctor? Please. Yeah, dog. Can you help us? Sam treći put. Thank <laughs> you.